This is literal proof that the Antichrist agenda is in operation today in the United States. Watch this. Everyone knows Amazon, right? Well, Amazon just released a new contactless payment method nationwide. You can actually now pay for products by scanning the palm of your right hand. The Bible says that in the last days, the Antichrist will require you to receive a mark on your right hand. And the people that refuse to get this mark will not be able to buy, sell, or trade any goods. This new technology is a sign of that Antichrist agenda at work today. If you believe that we're living in the end times, subscribe or follow now to learn more. Nope. This is literal proof that Christians will make up anything they possibly can or use anything they possibly can to get you in fear to follow their religion. <laughs> this guy kills me because he grasps at every straw he possibly can grasp at. All right. So what is he talking about? He's talking about the Amazon's program now where you can scan the palm of your hand and then you will be able to make purchases without pulling your card out. It's a security. It's a good little security way of making sure that nobody steals your information. But let's listen to what he said, though. Let's understand what he said. He said the mark of the beast will be on your right hand. All right. Understand this. Palm of your hand is not a mark. It's not the mark of the beast. You're born with that. That means everybody already got the mark of the beast, if that's the case, because you're born with the palm of your hand. Second thing, it says your right hand. This Amazon app thing, scan thing, allows for you to scan your left or your right hand. So if you are a person who does not have a right hand, your right hand got cut off in war, you had to have it amputated for whatever reason, diabetes or whatever it is, got in a car wreck and it got smashed up, or your right hand just messed up. You can choose your left hand. You got. You can use your left hand. You have to be able to use your left hand. It's the only hand you got, right? But you have a choice of your left hand or your right hand, and it's not a mark. Now, he says the Antichrist agenda, does it not in your Bible, isn't the understanding, is that the Antichrist has to come first before the agenda can be put in place, right? Who's the Antichrist? Some people are going to come on here and they're going to say the office of the papacy is the Antichrist. So whoever the Pope is at any given time frame is representation of the Antichrist. People claim Ronald Reagan was the Antichrist. People claim that um, they, there were people who claim that Dr. King was the Antichrist. There were people who claim that Malcolm X was the Antichrist. There are people who said that Nixon was the Antichrist. People have claimed that every person that they don't like is the Antichrist. There's people right now who are probably running around and saying that Donald Trump is the Antichrist. While at the same time, there are people running around who are basically saying Donald Trump is the embodiment of Christ or the warrior of Christ or an angel sent down from heaven. So people are claiming Antichrist to everybody that comes along. People claim thought that Hitler was the Antichrist. It's just the way it works with this religion is that at any given time and point in history, you're going to pick out somebody who is the Antichrist, point blank, period. And if anybody on here go about the number 666, let me tell you, number 666 was the name of Nero. In Greek. In Latin, it's 616. You read the Latin Bible, the Vulgate, and it says 616 instead of 666, which is further confirmation that they're talking about Nero. So, the 666 has absolutely nothing to do with it as far as it being the beast and that being the mark of the beast. But it just shows how fearful Christians are. And how fear is the main tactic that they use in order to uh, keep you in line or to get you to come on over to their side. Fear has always been a weapon. And that weapon has been used in order to keep science and technology from advancing. This is what happened to Galileo. This is what, ha well, it didn't happen to Copernicus because he was smart enough not to publish his findings until after he died. Galileo thought he was being smart. I'm going to mine now. And the church locked his ass up and then threatened his daughter. Because the church doesn't want science and technology to move forward. And that's all this is. It's a moving forward of science and technology. Uh, I remember this commercial where this guy goes into a grocery store and he's loading everything into his straight into his um, trench coat and people looking at him funny. And then when he wa starts walking out, because you're thinking that he's stealing, they had these meters or these little things that recognize who he was and all the products that he had put in his trench coat, it tallied it up and it paid for it. So... 
it's just technologically advanced technological advancements that you're seeing it is not the mark of the beast they used to think the social security number was the mark of the beast people run around talking about the chip they're gonna put in your hand put in your, is the mark of the beast in your hand or your forehead because they chipping people or you're chipping animals and that sort of thing look until the end of this religion because this religion will not last to the end of time there will be people claiming that whatever some technology is a thousand years from now even though i don't think christianity will last that long is the antichrist so don't fall for it don't go for it stop living in fear of it but y'all have a great day and remember always you got to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable good journey good vibrations